Assalamualaikum wa alaikum YouTube was cracking it's your angry biracial back with another video man yo this video is crazy as fuck before we dive into this I want to let y'all know this video is fucking crazy sisters need to be careful out there let's go and get into this y'all like that I got my hair out I'm growing my hair out so y'all can see my my fucked up count chocula Jude Law hairline <laughs> Believe it or not, believe it or not, I got my hairline from my dad. So y'all can't. Oh, it's the Arab side. No, no, no. <laughs> this was my this was my black daddy side. I got this fucked up hairline again. You know, so Kangs lose again. <laughs> Guys, that's right. And according to this PC affidavit, that victim actually saw a police car on her way to that convenience store, but was too afraid to flag them down for help. Thankfully, she got away when she got inside the store. When he had his back turned, that's when she looked at me and was like, help me, help me, help me. A sign of trouble that Nikki, a convenience store clerk, wasn't able to shake. All right, you have a good day. I could just tell she had been crying or some, like something was just off with her. She, you could just tell she was in distress. According to this PC affidavit, the 17 year old was kidnapped by a man holding a rope in his hand, threatening her Friday afternoon. The suspect allegedly told her if she had. Yo, these Kangs are bold. You, these Kangs are some bold fucking terrorists. That's what they are. They're, they're fucking terrorists. He kidnapped her and was walking her around with, with a fucking rope. Like, you gotta be an idiotic, bold motherfucker to take someone you kidnapped and walk him into a convenience store. You know, an idiotic, bold motherfucker. Asked for help, he would kill her. The suspect had uh, made threats to harm her, had told her that uh, to come with him, she was un. Uh, unwilling to let her leave, had taken her to a shed where a sexual assault had occurred. After that alleged... Damn, man. Fuck. You know, these Kangs were the first to talk about white men and other races of men, you know, you know about, about serial killers, about serial rapists. But yet, in 2023, in the past 10, 15 years, from, from my understanding... They have taken the cake. And it's probably been a lot longer than that, you know, because they've been putting black women through fucking hell. They've been terrorizing black women for a fucking long time. But it's been making the news nonstop that black men are leading all fucking crime. Black men are leading when it comes to the most homicides. 61% of homicides reported in the last couple years have been from black men. 61%. And black men. You know, black the black black community in general is only 14, 15 percent of the population. You cut that in half. Black men make up seven to seven point five percent of the US population, yet they're responsible for the vast majority, way more than half. Six one percent is more than half of the fucking homicides in America. So Kings have been taking the cake when it comes to homicides, when it comes to grape. When it comes to kidnapping, it comes to trafficking, that they become some of the biggest predators in the United States, and yet the one of the lowest populations. It's fucking crazy. Assault, you can see the 17 year old walk in this convenience store from surveillance video provided by the store. And that's a preference. He was going to traffic her. My father did that exact same shit, you know, but you know, he wasn't. He wasn't bold, you know, <laughs> like this fucking idiot. The exact same shit. He did that shit to my mother. He kidnapped my, my mother, drugged her fucking up, got her hooked on the drugs. And once he got her hooked on the drugs, he tied her down to a fucking bed and kept injecting drugs in her all day. And, and he would stop in, in intervals. So her body would be freaking out because it didn't have the drugs. And she'd be begging for the fucking drugs. Got her hooked on it. And once he got her hooked, you know, she, she, she was his. And he had her on the street corner. These fucking kings are obsessed with pimp culture, are, are, are obsessed, obsessed with, with trafficking, are obsessed, obsessed with this fucking degeneracy. So what the fuck is wrong with these inhuman, low, moral-having pieces of shit? You know? 
on South Walker. What you can't tell is that she's being held against her will. It was there that a clerk had recognized something was not quite right. You could just tell by the way she was like shaking. Just you could tell she was not comfortable with the guy. And shout out to that clerk because women can see things and recognize things in other women that, that us men can't. You know, and shout out to that fucking clerk and shout out to that woman for recognizing the distress in that other, other woman and helping out, man. She was with the store clerk, then hid her in the back of the store before calling police. When he leaves, I go Ray. back there. She's curled up in the floor, like rocking back and forth, uh, basically going into detail. She's been held captive. I'm like, well, how old are you? And then she told me she was 17. So I immediately got the phone call 911 and she was being held against her will. Thank goodness that she was able to recognize what there wasn't something quite right and call 911 to investigate. Thanks. I mean, women nowadays, man, I heard that there is something like this, but I, I got to research more into it, but I guess they're trying to keep it secret uh, um, amongst women for a reason. Um, that, that there's a secret signal that, 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 that women give out like a lot, a lot of bartenders, right? Um, the women have a signal when they're in the bar that they give to the bartender and that, and that tells the bartender that that this woman's in trouble. This woman's being harassed. And this woman's being, it, it, they're trying to take her. They're trying to, she drugged her. Something's wrong with her. She needs help, right? And 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 the bartender calls the security, whatever, and or do, does something to get her away from that person and, and into safety, right? There needs to be more international symbols like that. You know, that that people, that that, that should be taught to women nonstop because, the men these days are pieces of shit. The Kangs these days are pieces of shit. And if, if you have a high chance, if you're caught alone somewhere around a bunch of Kangs, that something's going to happen to you. Now, that suspect did take off, but police were able to catch him nearby later right. and arrest him. He faces charges of forcible sodomy and kidnapping. Mm. May he rot in hell. May he rest in shit for the rest of his fucking life. You know, he be very careful. Protect your, your, your daughters, man. I, the more I do stories like this, the more terrifying it is for me. I have four daughters and and they're, they're in, in their preteen years. Right. And it's um scary. I, I'm I'm. I, it keeps me up at night sometimes thinking about these things and I, I be having sit downs talking to them because I tell you what, John Q ain't got shit on me when, when it comes to me trying to protect my, my, my daughters, man. It, it, it's um, yeah, and, and my, my sons, too. But I understand that my daughters are more at risk of that happening. Yeah. And boys get traffic, too. I'm 100 percent. Boys get traffic, too. But, you know, it's it's more likely to happen to, 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 to girls. So it's like, I'm terrified, man. I'm fucking terrified. I'm, I'm going to spend a lot of time doing awareness on this because not only do I have to, to learn more so I can protect my daughters more, but I want these fucking pieces of shit to get caught. I don't want another person to have to live through this shit. It's fucking horrible. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. I'm about to call now. I'm fucking tired. I'm about to go to bed. <laughs>